Today I have yam with egg sauce. Yes. But in addition to the yam, I've also added potatoes because I know yam is not readily available. But guys, you need to try yam. It's very, very tasty. I love yam. It's actually one of my favorites. Anyway, we're making vegetable sauce, which some people popularly call egg sauce when you've added your eggs. First of all, some of the ingredients you need, you have your vegetables of any sorts. I've added green pepper here. Cooking is dynamic guys, you don't have to keep eating the same thing all the time. You also have your habanero pepper for spiciness and your fresh tomatoes. Purple onions actually gives better results. And then your eggs of course. You also have your vegetable oil for frying or your sunflower oil, whatever oil you find healthy for yourself. After cutting my vegetables, I cut my onions into tiny bits. And guys, I also cut my onions in round circles, like flat circles. Do you know why? When they separate in the oil, it gives lovely strands out and you chew on it when you're eating your and eggs. Lovely, isn't it? I continue cutting my tomatoes like that. The reason I'm cutting my vegetables is to kind of get ready. You know, I want to cook my tomatoes my vegetable and my yam at the same time so that the food is kind of ready at the same time, you know. Save time, maximize time. Oops, I should have worn my protection gloves. Now guys, I got these gloves on Amazon. It's really, really nice. You're gonna see these gloves. Let me get them from a drawer. These gloves actually protect you from cutting yourself. So I actually remember that I'm very bad with cutting in the kitchen. The tips are protected, you know. So yeah. Have you ever had yam with exos? Do you mind telling us methods that you use to make a yam with exos? I'd like to know. Just out of curiosity. But guys, you can use potato, you can use plantain to eat your egg sauce. Honestly, it tastes lovely as well. But if you haven't had yam, I think you should try it. You can find it in different African and Asian stores around you. Right, after cutting my tomatoes, I set it aside. I haven't shown the process of cutting the yams, you know, washing them and cutting them, but basically just wash your yams and cut them out, you know, cut them into any shapes that you find more appealing. And then the, for the potatoes, I just wash off the sand and just put it in the, the yams so that they boil sort of at the same time. As I boil my yam on one part of my cooker, I'm also frying my vegetable sauce, you know. The first step is to put my oil I've used vegetable oil this time, or was it sunflower? I'm not sure. I'm using sunflower today, and I just let it heat up a little. Not too, not too heated, you know, just heat up a little, and then I add my salt. Next, I'll add my onions. I get that onions to sort of boil a little, to, you know, let the juice come out, you know? And the next thing, guys, I put my tomatoes inside. The aroma is already coming out, you know? And then the pepper goes in. The kitchen smells heavenly. <laughs> anyway, the next thing now is just to let the tomato sort of boil, steam. Leave your pot open because you want all the vapor to leave your pot. You want the water to leave, the excess water to leave your pot and you're left with sweet tasting tomatoes. 
how do you know it's ready you keep tasting the the tomato to make sure it's not sour once the sour taste goes away it's kind of ready so give it about 10 minutes of continuous stirring yeah the less oil you add the more stirring you have to keep doing because you don't want it to get burnt right add any spice of your choice i've added curry I just felt like using curry you can use anything and guys any seasoning cube of your choice just add it there some people love parsley sometimes I feel like using thyme thyme you know anything at all you love now some people add some vegetables to there you know like some pumpkin leaves some people add different sorts of vegetable I just felt like using green pepper today okay check my yam, check my potato and I continue frying. Guys, I think we're nearly done. You see the way the strand of the onions is looking? Yeah, nice. <laughs> okay, the next thing now I think is to add my pepper. So I'm going to add my pepper now. My green pepper, just for color, crunchiness, you know, and difference, yes. And nearly immediately, I'm adding my eggs straight, you know. I just leave it on top of the eggs of the tomato sauce. I put my eggs and I let it sit. So guys, don't turn it immediately because you don't want it to disappear. You just want to see the lumps of egg as you eat your yam. When I check my yam, it looks like it's done. I think this yam is done. I think it's done. Yes, the yam is done, but not the potato. Yeah, you see the way the egg looks? My goodness. My goodness. Oh. <laughs> I'm a foodie. I don't know. I'm not a foodie. I'm not a foodie. So I checked my potato. It was still hard. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring down the, the yam. And continue boiling the tomato. Sorry, continue boiling the potato. Tomato, potato, potato. Yeah, so yam gets done quicker than potato, guys. All right. Once the egg is sort of not raw, look at what it should look like, guys. Isn't this beautiful? Isn't this beautiful? You should smell this kitchen right now, guys. I think we're ready to eat. I can't wait. I am really, really starving. <laughs> okay, I dish this into my plate, guys. Come and join me. Come and join me. Voila! This looks absolutely amazing. And trust me, I think it tastes amazing as well. Ooh la la, ooh la la. guys let me know what you think did you enjoy this video and if you did you know what to do please like share subscribe click the notification bell and see you next time bye bye i have to of course flush this down